Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with the Atlanta Falcons news update. And it's something that I just, I, I've, I've seen. I've been telling people for a while, like, this is absolutely truth. I even did a breakdown. I've said Isaiah Oliver is making tremendous strides in his progression as just a football player, okay? I know a lot of people are just down on him as far as his ability to quote-unquote play corner. Uh, he's definitely giving up some big-time plays, but I did a breakdown on him. And i um, just going to read this. That's really interesting to think. Isaiah Oliver switching positions potentially someday. Obrick said um, they like the way he tackles and his coverage on the outside, but like his strength, his length and size as a safety. And bro, I've said this. I did a whole breakdown on Isaiah Oliver possibly one day moving to safety. Just looking at his his ability to close his closing that's what stands out for me when i look at isaac oliver yes he has the length yes he has the size and yes he has the tackling ability those are the things that you need most to be a safety all right not so much uh, not so much size i know a lot of people like bob sounded these guys were really small um that can play safety but a guy that can not only play free safety i think he has the length he has the athleticism he has the speed to be able to get to certain balls and use his length it reminds me of a guy um and i know a lot of people might think i'm crazy for saying this but steve atwater like steve atwater was a long lanky safety the dude was long he was big and he would knock your freaking block off. Not saying this is what Isaiah Oliver, his, his, his strengths are, is to hit people and knock people out. Not that type of safety. But when you look at his length, man, this is, this is what really, really for me personally, this is why I say the Falcons have to. They must look at Isaiah Oliver at free safety. And if he is the free safety for the Atlanta Falcons going into the future, this absolutely sews up it sews up another position that the Falcons don't have to worry about Keanu Neal you could possibly bring him back for a prove it deal he's playing amazing football right now so bring back Keanu Neal move Isaiah Oliver to free safety use that top pick to either go get a defensive tackle or defensive end but the Falcons must improve in the the on the defensive side of the ball all right so this is jeff Olbrick. jeff Olbrick pretty much come um just gave it confirmation all right i've been telling you guys if you guys have not seen the video it will be in the cards it will be in the description and will be in the pinned comments watch the breakdown for your boy mad mike man again this is something that i've said this is something that my guys Devontae hughes um done from the feel like sports podcast um a lot of these guys we, we have long conversations about this um even my guys at afn all right afn big low um kevin k styles and and just all, all these guys all right all these guys we've spent time and time and time again watching these players trying to see exactly what their strengths are what their weaknesses are and i've been telling you Isaiah Oliver, he may not be a corner. He could play corner, okay? He did a fantastic job against DK Metcalf, all right? He did a fantastic job against DK Metcalf for the most part. Four catches, 90 yards. That's not a whole lot. He had a one He had one catch that went for like 38, 40, 40 yards. But that's it. Isaiah Oliver did a fantastic job on him. So the guy has potential. The guy has ability. So when you have Jeff Obrick, a defensive coordinator, who sees exactly what I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? I don't portray myself to be a, 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 a expert, but I know what I see. I know my football. And I've said this time and time again. Isaiah Oliver is much better than people give him credit for. And one thing that I've always preached, if you watch my live shows, all right, Tuesday, 8 o'clock, Heavy Hitters, Wednesday, all right, you can check it out, Wednesday, ATL and Sports Zone. We've all said this time and time again. Dan Quinn did not, did not 
maximize players' skill set. That's what you do best. That's what a defensive coordinator is supposed to do. That's what a head coach is supposed to do. That's what an offensive coordinator is supposed to do. Maximize that person's, that one player's talent. Not put him in a position that you want to see him in. Isaiah Oliver is an excellent tackler. Isaiah Oliver has excellent length and strength. Why not use him at safety? Why not try to use him in the slot? Since they move him to the slot, Isaiah Oliver has not given up a lot of big plays. If any, you have not heard his name the last couple of weeks. Why? Because Raheem Morris put him in a position to maximize his talent. And this is what coaches are supposed to do. Not put players in positions that you want to see him in. Maximize his ability. And this is the reason why guys like Tack McKinley, guys like Vic Beasley, Vic Beasley is an excellent, excellent example of this. All right? So, Dan Quinn wanted to see him at a defensive end. Well, Dan, he's not a defensive end. Vic Beasley has never been a defensive end. He's not that. He has pass rush skills. He has speed. He has agility. Use that to your advantage. So with that being said, you guys continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports, man. But this has been the absolute, um, this has been nothing but the absolute truth, man. All right? Old Jeff Obrick is confirmation. I told you guys, Isaiah Oliver moving to safety was an excellent, excellent, it's an excellent idea. Okay? So you guys, check out the video. All right? Check out the video. It will be in the cards. It will be in the end screen. It will be in the comment section find all right check out that film breakdown on isaiah oliver tell me what you guys think about it all right if you watch to the end right now i want you guys to say put in i watch to the end in the comments all right so um i appreciate you guys for supporting your boy man mike sportsman um but this has been the atlanta falcons news update let me know what you guys think about this leave your comments below your boy man mike is out man peace